With our mission in mind, we started by discussing our quality expectations of the project's finished product. We decided that the aircraft must be able to navigate a cityscape with remote piloting, be capable of accurately dropping a light payload, and arrive to the drop zone quicker than an ambulance would. On top of this, it would be advantageous if the aircraft could fly to faraway incidents, be capable of crash landing without needing repairs, and fly autonomously. Converting these expectations to smart targets, our top level requirements were a turn radius equal to the width of a two lane road, a slow stall speed for accurate payload delivery, a payload capacity equal to the weight of an epinephrine syringe complete with case and parachute, and a minimum cruise speed of 35 miles per hour, which was to be maximized. We would then look to maximize battery endurance, resistance to impact, and if possible, integrate an autopilot control system. Our top level requirements became driving specifications, which we used to produce a design tool to identify the required thrust to weight ratio and wing loading. Expanding on this design tool, we calculated how an aircraft could perform within our constraints and the dimensions required to do so. Using the online tool eCalc, we selected electronic components to be ordered that would give us the required thrust to weight ratio whilst maximizing endurance. Once the components arrived, we ran a thrust test to ensure that we had the required capability. Based on our initial calculations, our final design includes a cambered airfoil designed for high lift at low Reynolds numbers. To meet our maneuverability requirements and reduce structural stress, a low aspect ratio of 6 was selected. We believe the distinctive shape of our wing to be a key aspect of our design. The wings are made of a three-part structure, with the joins away from the centre line so as to reduce stress from bending moments on the joints. This also aids with storage and transport, as the UAV was required to fit inside a carry case provided by the University. The aircraft is controlled through GPS signals to allow for long-range missions for when the aircraft is to fly autonomously. Ground control software is used to set waypoints for the missions, including when the payload is to be released. This software is also useful to monitor the progression of the mission. The payload is deployed using a simple system with a parachute attached to protect the emergency supplies. The drop must be made around 5 metres from the ground to aid with accuracy. The drone was designed using a built-up approach, aiming to offer the best impact resistance and strength. Off-the-shelf carbon fibre tubing is used for the spars and booms for best strength to weight ratio. Our ribs and fuselage sections have been laser cut from 3mm plywood. This achieves high geometric accuracy with quick and cheap manufacture. The tail and wing are joined to the central structure with parts printed out of onyx material using FDM manufacturing. These parts provide high impact resistance and stiffness, particularly with the extra carbon fibre tubes for alignment. Finally, all joints are reinforced using silicon glue and the aircraft is skimmed with foam board for impact resistance, with extra hot wide foam padding underneath the nose.